Hello again, I am Blunty, having a bit of a motivational issue right now. I just can't seem to get anything done. I've got a list over here of like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 different product reviews that I'm, I'm backlogged on. Some some of these products were sent to me literally months ago and I'm, I'm still, still haven't delivered the review uh, that I planned on, which is annoying me personally. It's also a bit rude to the uh, companies and, and PR people who sent me these products for review in the first place. And I feel kind of shitty about that. It's all a cycle of shame and everything. So... To shortcut that a bit, I'm just going to off the cuff a review here. I'm not going to write anything down. I've got no notes at all about it, but I've been using the product for a little while now. And it's this. This is the Corsair. Let me read the name off the box so I get it right. The Dark Core RGB SE Performance Wide Slash Wireless Gaming Mouse. Uh, and Corsair sent this in to me for review because I was looking for a, a new mouse. Uh, wireless gaming mouse uh, specifically. The reason I was interested in this when I saw it at PAX Australia a few months back was because this has wireless charging as well. I've had wireless mice before, had a Razer one. I always used it wired basically because uh, the Razer one had a little dock and you would sort of put the mouse on the dock uh, when you were done using the mouse and to charge it up and I would always forget to do that. I'd just walk away and the battery would be flat by the time I come back and have to plug it in and, uh, and it's just, it didn't ever work for me properly. I mean, the mouse worked perfectly fine. It was a good mouse, but the process of being wireless didn't work for me properly. This has wireless charging. It's not actually built into the mouse, but you get it with one of these little dongle thingies right here that plugs into the USB port that's on the end, uh, where you would normally plug the cable if you're in wired mode. And this is inductive charging, like you see on a lot of phones and stuff these days. Um, you still do have to move this to a specific area, but that's a lot easier to do when I get up and walk away. Just move my mouse to the... That's, a, that's an easy habit to get into. Just slide the mouse up to the top corner and, you know, put this thing over the little circle that's printed on it. There's even a little light that blinks uh, when this thing is actually charging properly. Um, and I've had no worries with this sort of going flat on me other than me actually running it flat on extremely long uh, sessions. It will connect to Bluetooth, but it also does come with its own little uh, wireless dongle thingy as well. It is a gaming mouse, which means it has gaming mouse type features. So you've got a, a button for changing the DPI sensitivity. So you can switch a very high to very low sensitivity if you're in, very handy in shooters. It's got a little button on the side there. Um, you press that in and it lowers the sensitivity a lot. It's called the sniper button. So you, you can have high sensitivity pew, 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 running around. If you're in sniper mode, you want careful aim. You press that button. It lowers the sensitivity a lot. So you move nice and nice and slow with big movements so you can get really precise with your sniper aim when you're taking your time with it. Um, buttons four and five, of course, back and forth over there. And of course, as you can see, it is RGB in the green here at the moment. I'll show you some B-roll of the other colors just in case you don't believe me. Why wouldn't you? But long story short, I like this mouse quite a lot. I uh, don't know whether it's going to be my daily driver. It doesn't quite fit my hand super comfortable. Like the position of these buttons is just not quite right for the way my thumb sits over them. Everything else about this I like. Um, it's even ambidextrous. It comes with a little, uh, you can pop this side panel off here. What about that one that's over here? Ah. Um, and you can pop this on there. So you've got the thumb rest on the other side if you want to use it with your other hand, although that doesn't move those buttons, but um, it also sort of, depending on where your pinky rests, might keep your pinky off the mouse pad if that's your preference as well. Not a feature I'm particularly interested in, but nice to have it, not need it, then need it, not have it, I suppose. Oh, I almost forgot to actually talk about the mouse pad itself. It's a mouse pad. It's a rigid mouse pad. The mousing surface feels like pretty much every other rigid mouse pad mousing surface out there. Really nice and smooth. Got a lovely texture on there, so it sort of just has a little bit of feel for it. Um, sort of as your fingers are brushing across it, if you're, you know, depending on how you hold your mouse and things like that. So it's not too slick. It's not glass, but it's not like a, a, a grippy a cloth surface either. So your tastes may vary on whether that on that, that suits you. Um, I'm used to a little more grippier surface. So I've been using a uh, large desk sized uh, mouse and keyboard mat for quite some time. I only just switched away from that. So this surface is a lot slicker than I'm used to, but I did adapt to it very quickly and found it uh, quite pleasant to use. It's nice and big. There's plenty of surface area um, and the spot where you go to charge is sort of generous to it. It'll give you a sort of a two different kinds of blinky lights. One is, yeah, it's, 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 it's mostly there. And one is, yeah, you got it in the right spots charging properly and fast now. 
Of course, the mouse will work with and without the special charging mat, but if you don't have the special charging mat, you'll just need to plug it in to charge it every now and again, which is, you know, the kind of thing I was trying to avoid with the other wireless mouse I was using. So I would rather recommend buying them as, as, a, as a pair because they do work really well together by design, of course. They do. That's what they're supposed to do. But it is a lovely, lovely convenience thing. Just being able to go swoosh, mouse over to the corner and the blinky, blinky lights. So it's all charged and ready to go. It does also have a USB port at the top of the mouse pad uh, as well. Uh, I've used that for the USB receiver. So it's a nice, clear sort of signal path. But you can also use that. Uh, USB port for whatever you like. It is a full data USB port. So if you want to use the Bluetooth on the mouse or you want to stick the receiver elsewhere on your on your rig, uh, you can also use that port for plugging in whatever you like, charging your phone. By the way, that wireless charging pad as well will charge my iPhone. It's, you know, key compatible, QI compatible, however you pronounce it. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it's it works with that. So it probably works with a lot of other wireless charging devices as well. But the you know, iPhone is the only one I have to test that with. But that was a that was a nice discovery. Did that by accident. Just popped down my iPhone and it went bing. And I'm like, huh? Ah, oh, that's cool. Um, but yeah, as far as a gaming mouse goes, it's performed flawlessly. Well, flawlessly after a firmware update. When I got it, it had a little weird tendency of every now and again, it would just, for no apparent reason, that my viewpoint in a first person game or whatever would just, zoop, the mouse would zerp off in a, in, in a direction like 180 degrees or something. Updated the firmware, I haven't had a problem with that since, but it was very annoying for a while there, um, mainly because I couldn't get the firmware update to work. Of course, they still need to tweak their software a bit because I had the same problem with a keyboard uh, that I recently purchased a uh, wireless keyboard, the K63 wireless, which is, uh, that one there. Of course, they didn't send me this. I bought this on my own accord. Um, but long story short, it's a really, really, really nice wireless mechanical keyboard. And I like it very much. And I wish I'd talked to Corsair about sending me one so I could have got one for review. I just bought it because I needed one. I wanted one. But I should have got them to send me one for review. That way I wouldn't have had to pay for it. Privileges of being a YouTuber, I suppose. But yeah, the, the Dark Core SE RGB, uh, Dark Core RGB SE, one or the other. Which way around is it? Dark Core RGB SE. If you're looking for a sensitive, responsive, uh, comfortable, um, basically flawless wireless gaming mouse, you can also use wired um, with the option for wireless charging as well. You can charge it up off the regular USB cable if you really want to, or you don't feel like investing in the wireless charging mouse mat uh, just yet. Good way to go. So. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty and I will catch you next time. Hopefully I will have gotten over my, it's not really even writer's block. or It's just, I just, I just can't get the ball rolling. So hopefully this little off the cuff review of a uh, wireless gaming mouse that's well worth owning, by the way. Hopefully that will get the juices flowing and stuff like that. New background, by the way. Many of you will have noticed by now. The regulars around here. So new shelves, new lights and everything. I still haven't quite finished with the lighting, but uh, we're getting there. Get in there. You like it? I like it. I moved my entire setup around. It's a lot more interesting than the old background, which was just literally a wall with my computer against it. So, uh, I don't know. It's, I feel like it's a little bit generic. So many YouTubers have that sort of vague purple LED lighting in their background. But there's a reason for that, because it looks kind of cool and helps separate the talent from the background in a very dramatic, cool looking way. Those are RGB as well, of course, they can be whatever color I like, as is the, the the globe in the actual desk lamp back. That's RGB as well, so that can be whatever color I like as well. Corsair, no, RGB is life. Choices. It's all about choices. Some people hate on RGB. I don't know why. You don't really pay any extra for it these days. It comes on everything by standard. It can be whatever color you like to match your system, or you can just turn it off if you don't like the lights. It's fine. You can just turn it off. It's fine. Got a little sidetrack there at the end, didn't I? Coffee's hitting. <laughs>